Hey, soldier. Do you know who's in command here? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Psychology of Leadership in Natural Selection 2. I'm still Antilumpa and today I will try and put the first type of leadership into practice, which is going to be laissez-faire leadership. Now, if you think back to part one of this series, by the way, if you haven't watched that, go back and do that. There's going to be a link in the description. If you think back to part one, um, I didn't start my list with laissez-faire leadership, but I'm going to start the uh, practical videos with it because it gives me an opportunity to show the game to people who've never played it and to kind of explain what's going on and to also observe what's going on within the team as I'm playing and just letting them do stuff. Now here are my rules for laissez-faire leadership. There will be zero communication from me to the team, so no text chat, no voice chat, no pings on the map, nothing. I will just build, med, and provide them with ammo. At the end of the video, I will provide you with a brief synopsis of what happened, and I will also analyze how my leadership style impacted the game and the team and the result of the game. Hooray! Let's go into it. What is that? What's going on here? Holy Jesus! What is that? What the fuck is that? So as you can see here, I'm standing inside the chair, which um, will close around me um, to make me the commander. Once um, the teams are shuffled, so it's sort of fair. Can't see the hive scale. There's probably like um, a console command for that. Ну вот что ко мне пристали, а? Ну что? Ну что? What? So, use the command chair. Um, Marines will spawn from these infantry portals, which are very important. Then we have an armory, which um, gives Marines weapons, uh, armor, and uh, health. A prototype lab, which gives them advanced stuff. And um, one of the first buildings that I'll build is the arms lab, which will upgrade their armor and uh, weapons. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Game starting. So I've dropped the arms lab and people are swarming out. Remember, these aren't um, computer-generated units. These are actual players. And they will hate me for not communicating Objective with them. Objective completed. There we go, starting armor one. So they take one more bite to die. And as soon as they are done with um, the resource nodes, which I've dropped here and there, um, we will get more resources so we can start more buildings in the future. Every building needs a powered power node for it to work. Um, this one, for example, for the main room is uh, very important. Someone mind helping me get into the vent? Oh, gotta get those guys some meds. Oh, what an asshole. He stole it from his mate. Okay. You know what, those guy high. Let's drop that thing. It's Soldier gonna be important. Drop that Soldiers thing. They want orders as well. I would really love to tell them that they shouldn't go here because the aliens probably start here. Um, so there's going to be a hell of a lot of pressure here. And I would now love to ping here because aliens are going to swarm no into here, completed. but I can't. Tropical guys. I'm dropping the observatory, which um, gives me um, vision around it in this um, radius, so aliens show up on my radar. And um, also it gives me uh, the opportunity to research face tech, which will give me phase gates that can instantaneously uh, move marines from one area to another. So High blind is power. So move on to cargo grid or for attack nano. Oh, skylights. Oh, they're already asking for um, for what to do next um, because they need to be coordinated to win the game and they know that 
and I'm not providing that for them. That's gonna be hard. Uh, oh, you see a little marine here fighting two um, scouts, which are the basic aliens. And they obviously killed him because he was alone, again. This game needs coordination. You need to be coordinated in this game. You need to put stuff, or put your effort on a single point, like a blade. This is about to be done, pretty cool. That means I can now drop a face gate here, and I need the other exit somewhere else. Again, I would usually have to tell Marines um, where to build that, because um, they need to concentrate their efforts onto the point where I want the face gate to be. Soldiers standing by. Sure thing, buddy. Actually, that's finished. It's almost there, but not com completely. Uh, once they've built that, they're probably going to finish that off to power it. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to get shotguns for them. Well, they're pretty good. They're doing really well here. Right. Research complete. Gonna scan here. Oh, he's in the vent, apparently. Someone pinged here. That's interesting. Oh, they probably want me to take that with um, arcs. Arcs are um, sort of machines that uh, commanders can build that will destroy uh, enemy structures through walls, which is pretty cool. Alright, he's gonna get some meds because he asked for it. Cool. I'm just gonna drop them out. Observatory here as well. I would love to ping that, but <laughs> again, I can't because it's against my rules. Man! Okay. It's, it's really hard when you can't tell your Marines what to do because. <sighs> like. There's so much stuff that they should be doing, and they're not doing. And I really would want them to go to a central position to fight it or build something. And they're not doing that. All clear. Alright, here we go. First arc's ready. Let's build the second one. This is looking good. Kill that asshole. Come on. There we go. Drop that. Army in system soon. Sure thing. You're gonna get an armory so they can heal and get ammo there. I think. Soldier needs health. I think I don't have a wall unfortunately for you. Now, either my marines are really good or ooh, that looks bad. Again, I would love to ping that right here. Because that's going to suck for my Shit, Marines. system, guys, system. They're overtaking it. Ah, oh, the gate's the down. They're going, for the, they're going for the arcs, guys. And we've lost system waypointing, which is an important room. It's very central. Um, and uh, it denies access to subsector, which is a hive point, so aliens can build a hive here once they've Your taken that. And that's that's bad. That's very bad. Hope he kills him, because oh, there we go. Your base is Not under too bad. These marines are pretty cool. Let's drop another observatory there. Job, killed him. I'll move my face gate here. Because that's gonna be my main point of focus now. If the aliens manage to build a hive in subsector, game's over, pretty much. But I can't tell them that. <laughs> they have to see that themselves. Cool. Now, I would really like for them to push into here. I'm just gonna scan. Now, I could tell them that <laughs> there's a tunnel trying there. Trying to build in here. Got but a tunnel going up and sub, guys. Again, that's against my rules. Oh, they have a tunnel in there and they have a second one going up. Yeah, the game's 
I think pretty much almost lost already because they're not coordinating. They should be pushing so in here. They should really focus on this. Yeah, they already have a second hive in cargo, so they're gonna have a third hive soon, and the game's over after that. It's only a matter of, of seconds. Oh, we're down to two resource nodes, which is bad. That's bad. The aliens might have have up to one, two, three, four, four. They might have four right now, and that's that's not good. It's costing us a lot. Now I'm gonna try and initiate like a grenade launch, uh, a grenade rush, by researching grenades. But they've already discovered the gates, so they're just gonna take that, and the game's gonna end, which is too bad. Looks like we've got the first Onos. Yeah, there we go. They are the biggest life forms aliens have. They do a lot of damage, and they take a lot of damage to kill. It's Onos, Onos, Onos. That guy's gonna die. Told ya. And the first people are voting to concede, so, which is something you can do in this game. Um, if you feel like you're not gonna win this game anymore, um, you can concede, and the game ends immediately. And I think that's reasonable. It's reasonable to, to call for, for that. I think it's funny how nobody um, called for my res resignation yet. They're probably gonna blame me after game in chat um, which will make sense because again I didn't do uh, anything a uh, commander should do I didn't communicate with them <laughs> that guy is still in the vent he can't get out yeah, that guy's gonna die he's dead he overextended there I hope they save that machine gun save the machine gun come on dude oh, he didn't do it he did you already have a machine gun. Whatever. It's just gonna decay now. You see that? You see that bar going down? Yeah, it's gonna go. But as you can tell, the weapons I got them. They're actually helping them quite a bit. They seem to be recapturing at this point, at least. Even though aliens have all the resources. We need to see. Ooh, that was a massacre right here. Lots of people died. They're trying to retrieve the weapons, but oh, there comes an Onos. He's gonna catch him. He's gonna catch him, and he got him. He's dead. Now they're gonna take that, and then they're gonna push it to main. The game is pretty much over, or it has been for a while, and there's. Literally no way for us to win it right now. Your base is under attack. Command station under attack. Now oh, the command station is getting its first first damage done to it. Uh, I think at this point I might probably just get out and shoot aliens myself. Or I die in the process probably. <laughs> Yep, there I go, I'm dead. I'm respawning, but that's, that's not gonna help anything. Might as well vote conceit myself, because this game is old. Yeah, that's not gonna happen anymore. This is so old. It's kind of sad, I've, I've tried this um, twice before, like this is my third attempt at doing this because <laughs> um, recording software didn't, didn't cooperate the way I, I wanted it to. The other games were kind of more exciting, more um, more two-sided, could, could have gone either way. Um, this was pretty, pretty clearly a lost game from the get-go. And now we've lost because no marines can spawn anymore. Let's look at um, some of the stats here. Now, we have one Marine with a positive KD. The rest has a negative KD. 
And we have one alien, two aliens, three, four, five, six, six aliens with a positive KD. That's bad. That's really bad. Um, yeah, that our T graph looks very good up till ten minutes roundabout. After that, we just lost. They they just had us there in the sack. Um, Kill graph. Again, the 10 minute mark looked good. Until then, we could have probably done it still. After that, we just we just got crushed. That's probably when they when the tech advantage from the um, from the RTs from the resource nodes kicked, and that's when they killed us. Uh, hive skill. The aliens were higher in hive skill. That's pretty interesting because I think um, I think we we should have won this. Now, what can we take away from this? Let's look at how the game played out first. While my marines cries for orders and organizations echoed through the chambers of this uh, map, I didn't provide them with that. And you could tell that they were really thirsty for that because some people kept saying stuff where people needed to go. And, um, and you could also tell that at some point we had a lot of marines in certain corridors with a lot of guns and they could have won. They could have pushed somewhere, they could have achieved something, but they didn't get the coordination that was required to get the job done. To put this into real life, if you are charged with a task that is complex and requires coordination, you want to be there, you want to be present and you want to be heard. You want to have a clear idea of how the game or your um, task has to go and you want to communicate that as clearly as possible. If you look back at the game, there were some moments where I was pretty much doing what people told me, like um, when they when they told me to build the arcs to arc out the middle, and that wasn't my idea, and I was pretty much following orders from the team, which is what happens in a case of lack of leadership or laissez-faire leadership. Yeah, I think that's that's about it. Just remember, if you have a team that you're leading, um, give them give them something to do focus their efforts that's gonna improve their performance quite a lot comment down below if you've ever had a boss a leader whatever a teacher who didn't communicate enough and who just let things go their natural course hoping that um, everything would just be all right and tell me how you felt about that by the way feelings if you like this video give it a like give it a thumbs up and if you want to see the next part you know subscribe you can also join my discord because I'm going to be doing um, experiments in the future that would not pass any ethics board. Um, also, I have a Twitter where I announce that I'm uploading stuff, basically. Yeah, see you around. That would be nice. Have a great day. Bye!